All right, folks, I'm going to try a second time around. Looks like it crashed within uh, a, a minute or so or less, and I want to try to make sure that doesn't happen again. I don't know what's going on with that, but we'll try. A lot of people on the internet these days. So I'll be back in just a second. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying number two. Let's see what happens. Lord willing and the creek don't rise. We'll see if we can't uh, get some of this back on again. I apologize for those that did jump on just a moment ago, but maybe this will just be enough of a, who knows, maybe it's on purpose to get some more folks back in. All right, so today is Friday, uh, April the 3rd, and uh, we are in for a whole brand new month in front of us. And there's no doubt we are living in perilous times. There are much, there are many difficulties that are, are uh, surmounting. Uh, numbers are quite staggering. However, there is great, great opportunity uh, for things to come uh, now. And uh, some of those things are from you. That's what we want to talk about today. All right. So uh, I'm going to pull up a couple things here in just a moment, kind of in anticipation of what I want to share with you today. Uh, today on, on Phenomenal Friday, I want to talk about uh, something near and dear to my heart. Uh, if you watched the other day, maybe yesterday, I think it was, I did a, a Beatles tune and and uh, shared a little bit of my heart, got a bit emotional, uh, because it's an emotional time. I'm emotional. I mean a lot about uh, about what I do. Well, I mean everything that I do. And I want to make it uh, an imp as impactful as possible for you, uh, because at the end of the day, my, my opportunity on this planet is to help empower you. And there's a lot of things I've been through in my life, and I'm hoping that some of those things might spur interest in yours, and help you to uh, engage with some areas in your life that um, maybe you haven't been engaging with. And there's ways to do that. Sometimes it's not easy. And we have a lot of questions. I say we, meaning I've, I've been looking at, reading, listening, watching, uh, fielding, getting all kinds of, of responses from people that uh, have been quite interesting over the past couple of months. Enough for me to understand some of the heartbeat. Not all of it. I'm not all-knowing, but there is definitely a, a heartbeat out there of people's interests. Some of it is we just don't know what to do. Um, some do, and they are doing. Um, I'm hoping that I'm one of those doers for you. Um, however, there's those that want to do, but may not have all the tools in the toolbox to make some of that happen. And it can be embarrassing to ask. It can be um, awkward. And sometimes, you know, it's hard to just put your, uh, your finger on it. One of the things when I first started uh, really engaging into content creation, even especially here on LinkedIn, and um, I moved in my career field from a, a full-time pastor, uh, you know, I've been a singer-songwriter, business entrepreneur, I mean, I've been all kinds of stuff. Y'all can check that on my profile. But when I, when I really wanted to launch into to where I'm at now um, and find a voice, you know, I feel like I, I've known my voice for years, but I was challenged in that. And it took me Believe it or not, it took me several months to come down with a couple of sentences that I felt really uh, nailed who I am and what I'm supposed to be doing um, on this planet. All right, so uh, a lot of it has to do with identity, has to do with uh, you know passion, uh, education, information. There's a lot of things that are factors in our lives, right, that can help make those differences. So I want to kind of offer some opportunities for you that... Um, Maybe you may not have had easily accessible or you don't want to pay for the $99 a month course or the $2,000, $5,000, $10,000, $50,000 courses or, or whatever that may be right now. That's fine um, because there's a lot of stuff available for you out there for free. But without connecting the dots, without getting somebody to help you with it, uh, it makes things difficult. Um, so I want to highlight a few people today. Um, we're going to get to a slide presentation here in a moment. won't be super long, but uh, enough I hope that would be helpful for you. I'm going to highlight three people in today's live that um, that I think are really doing things to help uh, make a difference in people's lives. Uh, Bill Dolan, it will be Jay Andrews, and Jackie Hermes. You'll find these three individuals, two, two guys and a gal today. No uh, specific reason why, just those first three that popped into my mind today. And uh, we'll jump into that uh, here in a moment. So I'm hoping you'll you'll see what that's all about here in a minute too. All right, so I've got a I guess I've got a couple different views here today. I've got 
um, a view there. I've got a view right over here. This is kind of where I'm at with my, my straight on shot for my computer. And I've got a couple of things I've been working on here behind the scenes that I hope will be helpful and keep things moving for us here uh, as we're uh, working together for a little bit. Uh, I am coming to you live today from Fayetteville, North Carolina. I live uh, on the southern side of the United States of America, southeast. And uh, if you go down the very bottom, of course, there's Florida. And then you got Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. And in North Carolina, I am uh, just happy to live here. It's a beautiful, beautiful state. Uh, where I live happens to be uh, the largest military base in the world called Fort Bragg. And uh, I am also a veteran, a wartime veteran and uh, retired military. I uh, served during the Gulf War um, a long time ago, back in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, I also served in the Berlin Brigade. I was a member of the uh, Berlin Brigade uh, forces. And uh, we had an occupied force back at the time when the Cold War was uh, occurring. And uh, President Reagan gave that famous speech, Tear Down This Wall. Some of you might remember that. And uh, I feel very honored to have been a part of that history. And I'll share some more of that with you another time, but uh, a little bit about me today. Also, you'll find that um, if you look around my profile a little bit, just to, for those of you that might not know me today, that I just saw that I went live, I'm an author. I am a speaker, a coach, a consultant, and a LinkedIn content creator. I also have been working, obviously, on other social media platforms for years. Um, but I have found a home here at LinkedIn that um, has just been amazing. I love our community here at LinkedIn. There are so many amazing, amazing people, such incredible information, uh, such incredible, awesome ways to uh, advance our futures. And right now at a time like we are facing, uh, it couldn't be more useful for many of us to be able to uh, figure out what that looks like. For your, for your life, for your future, all right? So uh, coming back into Phenomenal Friday, I got one more little video I made for you this morning, a little intro, here it is. Yeah, like literally, I believe in you. That's what I'm here to tell you today. You may not believe in yourself, or you might believe in yourself, but there's just this frustration that frustration that you feel as if you you're almost there. You just can't you can't get over the hump. And now all this is going on, and we're secluded, uh, limited reach to people physically. Um, the world uh, marketplace has has changed a bit here lately. And there's a lot that you have been pondering. Uh, for those that are job seekers, um, those that are in the midst of trying to find a new career and you're kind of wondering, you know, how am I gonna do this right now when I'm facing uh, unknown times? Well, this is the best time. I mean, you know, perhaps you're, you're not going out knocking on doors and, and handing out a resume in, in person. And now you have an opportunity to do that online, which also means you should definitely be taking advantage of the time that you have at home because uh, that's where many of us are. And there are so, so many resources for you. And over the next few days, I'm going to uh, provide uh, as many resources as I possibly can to help you uh, to further you because I believe in you. I believe you can do this. And I, here's the deal. I need this world to be better. I want this world to be better. And it can only be better if you are empowered to do you. That's what I'm hoping for here today, just to get the conversation going, just to kind of move some things along. All right, so I'm going to flip to my slides that I provided for us today. And of course, like I said, today's Phenomenal Friday. I, I've been doing a show called Phenomenal Friday for a long time. I've backed off in the past couple of months, just with everything that's been occurring, everything's been going on, it's kind of been different, but here I am today, nevertheless, Phenomenal Friday. And it's phenomenal because I believe in you and I'm knowing, I know, I know, I know that you can do this. All right, so this, what is this? I believe in you part, right? All right, so here's the first thing to, to remember during times like this, stay connected. Sounds like an oxymoron. Sounds like the opposite when they're saying secluded, get away. But, but here's the thing, stay connected. It's so, so important for us to ensure that in moments like this, it's easy to withdraw. It's easy to 
uh, become complacent. It's easy to, to put it in neutral when you need to drop it in low gear and, and get ready to fly. This is the best time to do it. So stay connected. What does stay connected mean? All right, so staying connected, for me, I think there's a few things um, you've got to really focus on when it comes to connection. Um, what are some things that you would like to dig into right now? You know, things that you haven't had time for in the past, um, but what, like, for example, what group can you join or what group can you be a part of just to to help or just to be a part of something that you could just feel like, I want to do something that I've not done before. Now, I'm not talking about trying to go do something in a group because you're trying to necessarily sell something or promote yourself. At the end of the day, that's part of what we're all trying to accomplish. However, there's ways to go about it. Yeah, so don't go in there just trying to be super salesperson and I can save the world because you have to buy what I have. I mean, let's be real. Not everybody wants to hear that on the front side. You ever gone to a store? You walk in the door and the first thing you see is 15 salespeople say, hello, how are you? My name is Fred, John, Sally, Fred. How can I help you today? I just came to look around. All right, give it a breath a little bit. You know, get to some of these groups. Uh, start Googling some things, keywords that you can find that may be, uh, you know, some places that you find are, are interesting to you things that you've been thinking about or, or that are part of your passion, part of what you're excited about. Do some shopping. You don't have to join them all right away. Just check out, see what some of those things are and, and see if you can't get plugged in. Now, plugging in means join the group. They're going to have rules, obviously abide by them. Um, they're going to have people there that are making comments, uh, posting uh, different things of, of whatever, you know, I mean, um, you know, chime in on it. Well, listen to what they have to say. Um, give your opinion, your thought process on what some of those some of those responses might be in these groups. Now, don't go out there and join a million. That's not going to do you or anybody else any good because you're going to be overwhelmed and it's just going to be too much and you're going to end up doing nothing. Uh, find a couple, maybe let's say three. Find three groups that you're not a part of right now and three groups that you have wanted to be a part of or three groups you'd like to be a part of and and start. Right, so start also in the sense of uh, ensure you protect yourself by creating some of your own personal boundaries. You know, how long do you want to spend in those places? Do you want to go to a group, let's say, you know, you go from 8 to 11 a.m. and you are in these three groups from 8 to 11, you're corresponding, you're posting, you're liking, you're, you're communicating, you're doing whatever, and then 11 o'clock, you move on to the next thing. You know, don't just hang around there all day, kind of like Netflix. Netflix binging and group binging. Uh, there's a time to cut it off, right? So stay focused, right? So there's there's other things we'll talk about later when it comes down to your disciplines in how you can move forward with some of these things in your life, especially if you are jobless right now or careerless or somebody who's ready to move to another position in your life. For me, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, I've owned several